This is the story of our great adventure. Crossing the ocean on our beautiful boat, Kite Runner. I think I'll fall to pieces. We left Southampton on October the 1st and sailed down to the Canaries in seven weeks. We met up with our crew, Gary and Peter, along with 200 other boats to prepare for the crossing. It was going to be a hectic week of preparations. We had a lot of work to do, but along with the hard work, there was a lot of fun too. Parties and get-togethers with other boat owners and crews were a nightly event. It was exciting meeting and getting to know everybody and share tips and strategies for the crossing. And of course, we had the art parade to look forward to, where we finally met the owners and crew of our beloved previous boat, Lou Tattoo. So the day of the ark finally came. Final preparations were made. People were looking a little bit nervous, but this was it. We were on our way at last. It's the day. <laughs> There's a skipper waving. Oh, he's heading like a Everybody's on the way out. They're all going across the pond. Really good atmosphere. It's great. So they were doing last minute checks on the boat, but mostly just uh, hanging around waiting. And as we approached the line, the crazy Scots on Blue Tattoo came alongside to wish us luck. Good luck, guys! And then we were off. We were away. We crossed the line, we raised the sails, and we set off on a 3,000 mile, 20 day trip across the open ocean. There were lots of boats around us at that time, but they soon spread out and left us all on our own. It was a spectacular sight to see so many boats with their sails flying. We were on our way with a mixture of excitement, anticipation and a little apprehension.
the days passed quickly. We had lots to do. Trimming the sails, navigating, preparing food. We ate well, we sailed well, and we laughed. We laughed so much. Wow, we were so thrilled to see whales in the distance today jumping out the water. One even came to the boat for a closer look. Amazing. We were on a high all day. Seas have been high for quite a few days, which is fine, unless you're trying to cook. It hasn't really bothered us too much though, as the waves are from behind, so just picking us up and dropping us down. We opened a bottle of champagne to celebrate halfway. We were relieved to get there. We still have a long way to go. And with a week to go, disaster struck. The Code Zero got tangled, and as we tried to take it down, it went under the hull and ripped, taking the bowsprit with it. This left us with no downwind sails, so from here on it was going to be a hard slog to get into St Lucia. We finally arrived, 10.30 in the evening. We were tired, exhausted, but the party had to begin. And it did. For the next week, we had the time of our lives with all our new friends. So alone again With this emptiness I just can't hide Picture me With a broad After we got over the thrill of our journey and recovered from our partying, we decided it was time to explore the beautiful Caribbean islands.